Oh, shark! He's attacking! Get right at us! Woo! Hey, what's going on, folks? Paulie Jr. here, and welcome to Void Train out on Epic Games Store in early access form. I'll put a link down below to the Epic Games Store. You can check it out there. There's also a Steam Store page, but it is not available on Steam yet. I'm sure it's going to be there eventually. But for right now, you can get it on uh, on Epic, and I did receive a code from the developer to play the game and share it with you here. So that's what we're going to do. Let's jump in and get rolling. Now, I already have a game in progress. I have played quite a bit of this already and got to a point that I felt comfortable sharing with you at this point because it's like super, super slow in the beginning. There's a long tutorial and cutscene and and that sort of thing. So let's just jump into my game. I've literally been playing this for an hour already. Um, but yeah, let's get in and I'll show you rather than tell you about it. So away we go. All right, here we are. Deep in the void. Deep in the void, yes. A terrible carnivore creature is drawing closer to eh? its prey. Ew. <laughs> Our heroes should be more vigilant in the future. You think? Okay. Uh, it's Jaws. This Jaws. Scare away the shark. How about if I just shoot the shark? So I actually had already got to this point, and then I quit out because I thought it would be a good place to start the game. And sure enough, the shark is still there, and he's stuck. You can see that the headshots do actually twice twice the damage. Very nice. All right, there we go. Woohoo! And we can jump off our little trolley here. By the way, we are attached to a trolley, and we are floating through the void. As the name would indicate, got it. We got leather and shark meat. Mm mm mm, delicious. All right, so we're back on our little trolley, and the game starts where you find this trolley. It's like after World War II, apparently, and you go through a gate, a very strange um, structure, and it puts you on this rail. And we have this little trolley, and I've made some things here. I put a uh, research table, a crate, a furnace or smelter. Um, and a workbench so far and I did find this gun at a depot that I had stopped at uh, along the tracks um, So that's the that's the the basic storyline so far. I don't know where we are. I don't know the whole story We're gonna learn things as we go and we are collecting materials floating around here in space Again, I don't know exactly what went on here. You don't really know but the story is unfolding as we play um, we can expand our little trolley here and turn it into a massive train. And that's going to be excellent. We have a nice horn here to clear the tracks because we are ready to roll. Let's go. <laughs> and uh, this brake, just release the brake. And we have our throttle here. Trolley handle is the throttle. What is that thing? Uh, hold on a sec. I have not seen this thing before. I don't know what that thing is. Uh, but it's clearly in the way. I thought maybe the game would tell us about it. Let's uh, let's go get a little closer. Do we have to shoot it? Oh, we have to shoot it. Okay. All right, well, that's new. I haven't seen that before. That's kind of cool. You can also shoot the brake. You can float around out in front of your little trolley here. I find that is the most efficient way to collect materials. As the trolley goes along the rail, you can float around picking up your wood, your scrap metal. There's organics, uh, chemicals, all sorts of cool stuff floating around. <laughs> But right now, we're trying to get fat. I mean, not me fat, but I'm trying to get fat from critters. I, th I think these guys might drop fat. If I can get one. Oh, hold up. Drop something. Yeah, we can also go backwards if we want with this right here, the, the handle. But um, we're not going to go back for that. Oh, hold on. I'm going to hit the brake because I got some stuff here. Yeah, here's some more detritus over here. So this is uh, that's a chemical. It's going to be used in crafting, apparently, but we can't do anything with it right now. We've got some leather we get from critters. we got dirty ice, and we can actually drink. Oh, cool. All right, there we go. And we have organics. We can eat that. Just find that floating around out here. <laughs> um, and we got these little, I don't know what the heck they are, space ducks or something. <laughs> All right, let's keep moving. we got a long way to go. I don't know where we're heading, but... Sooner or later, we'll come to another uh, depot, they call them, like a little station. We can get out and wander around and gather more materials and other things. Like I said, I did find a gun at one of the stations earlier on. 
but that was a while ago and this rail just keeps going and going and going forever it seems <laughs> it's very much like a raft like a raft on rail in space some kind of weird dimension we don't really know much about but clearly somebody else was here building oh here they come here come the ducks oh go oh, get on the train see if i can get one I really need a shotgun is what I need. Uh, like I drop anything? Nope. Doesn't look like it. All right, let's keep moving. Get off the tracks, buddy. Train coming. Yeah, you can't, uh, you can't harvest directly from the critters or these rocks or anything, sadly. So you just find like little bits and pieces floating around. All right, let's, let's take a break right now, in fact. Take a break. Hit the brakes. All right, let's have a look at the research table. So we can select the blueprint here. Oh, hold on. The ducks are coming. Give me some fat. I need fat. Oh, dang it. No fat. All right. Um, so anyway, we're now on phase three. Yeah, we need fat so we can um, research this chemical component. And then once we get that, we can move on with some further research. And over here in the smelter, we can throw some fuel in here and we can smelt the metal down to either copper or iron bars. So I'm not sure exactly what we need at the moment. So I'm not going to do either one. I'm going to get better at shooting this gun. And over here, we have our workbench. We can craft a bunch of stuff on the workbench. Oh, we can make bolts here. Okay, why don't we, why don't we make some bolts? Let's get some bolts going. We just have to get some... Uh, got to get some iron smelting. So let's do one of those right there. And that turns your scrap metal into iron and it pops out right here. Oh, more ducks. Quack. No fat. All right, we needed, hold on a sec. What do we need for the lab? We need two bolts and two copper wire. All right, so we're going to need actually a lot more metal than I have right now, but we'll throw some wood in here and get it going. And while that's cooking up, we'll shoot some more of these ducks. Oh, what's that? I think that's leather. Yeah, the inventory space is super small. I'm not gonna grab that leather. We don't need it. We've got plenty over... Okay, no, we don't have any in there. I'm gonna have to make a new box, actually. Let's make up some copper bars. Make two of those. All right, now I think, uh, well, let's get going. Let's head on down the track, see what else we can get. So our little platform here is getting very, uh, very crowded. <laughs> so hopefully we can get a new platform built on here eventually. And I'm sure we're gonna learn how to do that in one of these next depots that we find sooner or later. Hopefully sooner than later, that would be very nice. What we got here, looks like dirty eyes for drinking. I just like to pop them in my mouth and let them melt. It's delicious. Some metal. All right, I'm gonna keep going here, grabbing more resources, shooting at ducks, and um, when we get to something different, I'll let you know. I'll be right back. But sooner or later, we're gonna come to a depot. Can't see it from here, but that seems to be the trend. It's a whole bunch of rail between the depots. Oh, you know what? I want to get that metal over here. It's good metal. Shoot the brake. Not the thing. Shooting everything but the brake. There we go. See, it does actually work. <laughs> the placement of all the workbenches and stuff is sort of critical. Yeah, I feel like my the placement of this uh, research table was pretty bad. Um, but it is what it is. Ooh, ooh, this right here. Pure ice. Pure ice. It's ice, but without flavoring. <laughs> I like the dirty ice. It's actually got a little flavor to it. <laughs> but it's not quite as pure as the pure ice, of course. All right, let's get back down to our platform and let's hit the brakes. Er and now let's do some crafting. We only have two inventory slots left. Let's check out that blueprint again. Yeah, two copper wire and two bolts. So hopefully they stack. These stacks need to be increased for sure. They're just too dang small. Let's make two copper wire. You can only do one thing at a time in this workbench. Hopefully there's gonna be some automation down the road. 
I mean, you can't just go off and do something else if you like, like shoot ducks, skinny ones that don't have any fat on them, sadly. Um, but it would be nice to have this automated a little bit better. And we need two bolts, right? Yeah. All right, bang them out. Yeah, we're starting to get very crowded here. So hopefully we get to the point where we can start building soon. All right, we got two bolts. And now we can come over here. And we can research the laboratory. I'm not sure if we're supposed to do that now, but we can. So I'm going to do it anyway. And there we go. We got no new blueprints from that. But we can now make a chemistry table. So if you press T, it brings up your... Uh, little building book here and all of the recipes that we know are in here and we can make the lab but we need two more bolts and two more copper and some wood we don't have that at the moment so we're gonna have to uh, do a little more collecting and smelting and all that I don't know if I want to make it on this thing anyway we might hold off I don't think we actually need it but I tell you what we do need right now we do need a we could use a container oh I don't have a wood all right never mind let's go get some wood yeah, like I said, there's a lot of this. There's a lot of just running along the rails, collecting one bit of stuff at a time. Oh, oh, we got the fat one. We got a fat duck. Yeah, we got a fat duck. Fat space duck. <laughs> My favorite kind of space duck. Hold on. Hit the air brakes. And let's, uh, can we do this? Yes, we can. It's going to use up our wood, but we're going to do it anyway. Research chemical components. No new blueprints, um, but we'll probably use that on the uh, on the on the lab, right? The chem lab is my guess. All right, let's roll out. Let's see if I can shoot that break. There we go. Okay, track looks clear. Let's collect more resources and get to the depot. All right, my friends, there is the station. Let's get on the trolley. And uh, we'll, we'll go in and check it out. Do some exploring. Although I do want this wood. Can I grab that wood over there. We're a little bit low on wood. I don't think I can reach it. My tether is too short. Story of my life. Oh, it's just out of reach. Oh, we got it. Okay. We got my wood. Thank goodness. We need the wood. All right. We're going in. You ready? Keep your eyes peeled, my friends. I don't know what's in there. Oh my gosh, look at the size of those chains. Yeah, I don't know what the heck is going on, but hopefully we get to the bottom of this. Open up! Thank you, we're here! <laughs> Clear the tracks! Alright, we're just gonna go right to the end. And we'll be inside. All the lights come on. Might want to duck here. Oh boy. Hi! We come in peace. Open up. All right, shoot. Okay. Oh, well, here we go. Oh, yeah. Turbo mode. Okay, here we are. It's uh, it's an engineering station. That sounds good. All right. Well, let's have a look around and see what's here. But I think what we're going to do first is craft another container, which is two iron, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the inventory space has to be improved. This is crazy. You get three spaces in an entire crate. See what I mean? That's nuts. Let's put the leather in there and maybe this raw meat. Can we eat that raw? Oh, we can, but we'll lose health. All right, well, we don't want that then. Let's have a little drink. Um, and we'll put... Uh... All right, let's have a look around. Here we go. Some scrap metal right there. On the floor. Offenslich Platzi. Right. That's what I suspected. Can we get back there? Achtung. We got food. Don't feed the sharks is what that says. And don't forget to wash your hands. All right, then. Um, can we open any of these crates? Or shoot the crates. Apparently not. Oh, we can interact with the trash. Great. Scrap metal and wood. How about these things? Nothing. Oh, there's another track. Interact. All right, I'll take the wood. Oh, it can interact with this as well. We got scrap metal and raw meat. Trash. Wood in it. Ooh, two wood. Okay. 
Well, that helps a little bit because the, um, the collecting of the materials floating around in the void is very grindy because you only get like one piece at a time, which is insane. Um, so fortunately, we get a little bit more here, it seems. Two pieces of wood that time, but that's still not great. Oh, here we go. We got lockers that do not open. Really? What a tease. Oh, what's this? Can I get up here? I don't think so. I think the rest of it is just for looks. Can't open doors. I can't climb. I can't jump. Um, I do believe we get some kind of a grappling hook eventually. I've seen that in some screenshots, but I don't have it yet. So I guess that's it. We just got a bunch of material. Not even a bunch of material. We got a few bits and pieces. So kind of underwhelming, unfortunately. But let's go ahead and get some crafting going here. We got four bits of wood. And we should probably eat and drink because you do have to watch your hydration and your food. I wonder if we can cook this food. Probably. My guess is we're going to get some kind of a stove or something. All right, let's grab our copper wire. I will chuck those in here. Let's roll out. What do I do? Release the brake, honk the horn, clear the tracks, everybody. We get escorted out by that little thing. Thanks, pal. Thank you. All right. Now, we're on the tracks again. <laughs> okay, so, back doing the thing, collecting all the resources, uh, waiting for the next depot. So, yeah, I'll let you know when we get there because this is not very exciting. Just doing the same thing over and over. We might get a new shark here because I think I killed the shark. Oh, look at my shadow. <laughs> That's fantastic. Because I killed the shark in the last section, right? And I think once you kill the shark, it doesn't come back. Oh, I want to get into some good stuff here. Shoot the break. I really need the wood to burn. You can burn the fat, but... Um... I don't think you want to burn fat, because you're going to need it for the laboratory. What is this? Like some kind of a rib cage or something? I don't know. Oh, shark! He's attacking! Get right at us! Woo! Repairing. Uh, hey! You jerk! All right, step on the gas. Let's go! All right, this will speed you up a little bit. Let's just hold it down. There we go. All right, this is as fast as we go. All right, well, we know the shark is out there. There he is. He's going to be following us the whole time, so I'm just going to try to shoot him. Hey! What's that? Oh, gosh. All right, we got something attached. Some kind of a leech is what this thing is. All right, we got him. Oh, what did he drop? Got a bunch of stuff there. I'm not sure what I got. Come on, back to the train. <laughs> I don't want to be out there swinging in the wind with the shark out there. <laughs> I'm missing a lot of resources, but um, I feel like that shark gonna come back if I go out here so we damaged the, sh the trolley Let's see if we can repair this thing I didn't happen to read that note oh there he is go for the headshots I can't it's great that you have unlimited ammunition yeah so those leeches will attach to your trolley too and I think they just kind of slow it down not sure if they do any damage I'm going out going out for this metal right here. Cover me. Here he comes. Here he comes. Where's the shark music? Play the shark music. That was kind of cool. Got him. All right, let's hit reverse. Back it up. Yeah, it looks like he dropped some fat. Don't you take my fat, stupid ducks. All right, hit the brake. Whoa. Oh, that was leather. Okay. My, what big teeth you have. <laughs> Snatch that fat up. I make a nice little screenshot. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> All right. Let's get back on the road. But before we do, I'm going to eat some of this weird meat or organic, whatever the heck it is. Can I stack this more than that? Five. No. The stacks need to be increased. At least doubled. I'm going to cut more iron bars going. And away we go. So I guess you can... Oh, wrong direction. Other way, other way. Forward. 
So I suppose you can't have multiple smelters going at the same time, which would obviously make things a little bit more efficient, but it's gonna take a ton of space, isn't it? Oh, a lot of chemicals, really? There we go. There we go. All right, back to the collection routine. Uh, I'll see you back here when we find something interesting and new. So stay tuned. Be right back, hopefully. All right, I'm back. And I do believe there's a gate up ahead. So let's go check it out. Hopefully we'll unlock like a new section of train or something because this is getting ridiculous. My, uh, my little platform here, my trolley is getting super crowded. I put another crate down. I can barely walk on this thing. <laughs> it's getting a little bit annoying to be perfectly honest. So hopefully we can get that upgrade ASAP. Do we need any more wood? Eh, sure, why not? Always need wood. Going in, let's see what's here. Yeah, I feel like this whole animation process here, this entering the building <laughs> could be faster. When you've seen it once, you've seen it enough. All right, thank you. What do we got here? We got a control punct depot. Engineer, what? Same thing, engineering station. Okay, well, let's have a look around. Tutorial guy is not popping up to tell us anything special, so I have a feeling this isn't going to be anything special. <laughs> okay, well, I are confused. There's nothing special here, just some wood and metal. All right, that's disappointing. Doesn't look like we're going to get anything new here. We're just going to have to take control of our own fate. Let's make up another copper bar that's going to give us 10 copper and 10 iron. And I think what we're going to do is make that chem lab. Should have everything we need for the chem lab. I got the nuts and the bolts and the wire here. Let's just put some of this in here to free up a few slots. Yeah, let's make it. I'm not going to be able to move a lab right here. Maybe it's little. Can we squeeze it in there? No. Workbench pushover. Man, that's like the guy that takes two parking spaces. It's my fault, though. I didn't realize how uh, how picky this thing was going to be about building. Um, how do we how do we get rid of you? <laughs> I know there's a hammer that we're going to get eventually too that we can use for repair work, but I don't have it yet. I think we have to make the hammer or find it. Like I found the gun. Okay. Well, this is a problem. I guess we're just going to have to put it where we can for now. Pretty sure we can move this stuff around later, but this is going to be super inconvenient. All right. Plop it down. Exit. And now let's create. Oh, this needs fuel too, which is fine. Got plenty of wood now. You can use a fat for fuel too, but I don't recommend it because you're going to need it for grease, for example. Yeah, we need grease to research the, uh, the last recipe in phase three. And we can also make unstable chemicals and resin. So yeah, let's grab some chemicals and some fat. Let's do it. So we're going to make the grease first. Just one. Processing very nicely. And there we go. We got our grease. How much grease do we need for this? Just one. All right. Basic components too. Here we go. And while that's going, let's go back over here and make some unstable chemical. Well, actually, let's not make it yet because I have no inventory space to put it anywhere. And I don't want to take up the precious slots for raw materials. Oh, here's our platform. Yay, phase four, you get a platform. So we could have done this a long time ago. <laughs> I thought we were gonna unlock this at a depot, but that is not the case. So what we need is two springs and uh, two of those little circular fellers. Oh, so we researched the grease, now I have to make another grease. Okay, we can do that. We're getting there, folks. Very good. Now we don't have any of these yet. So let's make two springs. Plenty of iron all made up. All right, let's make two of the bearings. And we'll make two more bolts. And that should be everything to make a platform. Okay, now this is exciting. And then I'm gonna have to break all these down and then move them onto the other platform. Oh boy. 
Oh, oh no, we need one more. I got it, I got it right here. Yeah, okay. I think it was all of my iron. All that work for naught. Well, it's not for naught. We're gonna make a platform. Of course, this doesn't actually make the platform. It just allows you to research the platform. Because now, now we have to craft it up somehow. And I don't know how. Oh, here we go. Tutorial. Oh, that's repairing. There are many interesting things ahead of you, including expanding your train at one of the following depots. You need to be prepared for this. Gather resources, craft parts, and fully develop yourself. Are you kidding me? We can't even do it here. I think we need the hammer to build the platform. <laughs> no. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so we're going to get back on the trail. And we're going to collect a lot of resources and make a whole bunch more iron and uh, all the parts and all that. I imagine we're going to need a ton of it. Of course, it doesn't tell you how much you need. Does it? I don't know. Actually, let's find out. Does it tell us? Maybe it does. Nope. So I have no idea what it takes to make a platform, but my guess is... Open up. It's going to be a bunch of stuff, so let's roll out and let's get her done. Yeah. Go around here. Whoa! Holy sm... Whoa! What's going on? <laughs> Whoa, what was that all about? You can't aim when you're going through that tunnel. Progression. Keep moving forward is what it tells us. Okay. We're making progress here. Oh, boy. All right. I think what we're going to do is call it quits right here for now. And I will continue gathering everything and crafting up all the material we're going to need for building a platform. And we'll do that in the next episode. I think it's worth doing one more episode of this game because we, we really have barely scratched the surface. The whole thing is it's about building a train, right? I mean, it's called Void Train for a reason. So I think... Um, I think I'm definitely going to make another video. So if you want to see more, leave a like in the video and a comment. If you have any tips or tricks that you know, maybe you're playing or you've seen other people play, then put it down in the comments. I could use all the help I can get with this one. But I like it so far. I just think it needs some tweaking. At least the early part of the game it seems like it could be condensed. So you can get to crafting your train much, much sooner. It shouldn't take two hours to get to that point, in my opinion. Because that's like, that's sort of the meat and the potatoes, right? That's the, that's the unique selling proposition. The USP. Oh, metal. Hit the brakes. And reverse it just a tad. And now, my friends, I'm going to call it quits. Once again, I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Oh, shark. Ah. Oh, get right in my face. Ah.